Welcome back beautiful beings. In today's video I'm going to show you these potion bottle die cuts I purchased from Timu. I paid $1.80 for them and you get eight bottles and six little embellishments. I will also be sharing with you this tag die cut I purchased. It came with a little embellishment and right now it's $1.24 and I paid $1.95 for it. So there's that beautiful beings if you like it. You can get it cheaper. Before we start, beautiful beings, I want to show you how big the bottles are. They're not quite two inches high. And there's embellishments, little embellishments above the bottles. And as you can see, they're backwards, but when you die cut them, of course, they're the right side. And then as you can see, they go down. I just wanted to show you those so you could see how big they were. Okay, beautiful beings, here they all are. It took forever to set these up for you. <laughs> okay, some, as you can see, the inside comes out, and then here is a solid one. Okay, so you kind of get a bottle in kind inside a bottle if you want a little bottle. Okay. I used a whole bunch of different card stocks. Okay, I used glitter. I used foam. This is this is foam. And then the other ones are just decorative card stock. As you can see, this card stock did not want to cut the ones that come out very good. Okay. It just doesn't want to come out of it. Kind of stuck in there. Okay, I don't want to rip it, so I'm just gonna leave it. And then the same thing over here. You got a solid one, and then you got ones where the bottle comes out again. Let's see, then you can use that for another bottle if you wanted to. Okay, I even used decorative. Regular polka dotted fancy card stock, glitter card stock. And we have these ones, they're solid. Then over here again, they come out. See, that one comes out. They all come out of this one. So you have ones that cut just a shadow of the bottle, and then you have the solid ones. They cut the solid ones and you have one for each one again a shadow of the bottle and then a solid okay and here's the bigger ones these are the shadow ones and then you get another bottle inside the bottle okay if you want to use it just pointing that out for you then you got solid ones. Okay. Then here's the little embellishments. There's a three. And as you can see, some of them, and with a six, you cannot see the three on some of them. I even threw a piece of vellum in there. And there's a piece of vellum. I did cut it. And I did flip some. Over so you can see that they make nines too. This is on foam, did not show up. That's foam, did not show up. But I'll show you something. I'm gonna try to see if you can see it. Okay, again, this is foam, even that purple one is foam, and this purple one was foam. And I think I did right here's foam. So it did cut foam very well. I just ran it through two or three times. And then there's Dream and the Ones down here in Love. Okay. And then the little die cut that says Drink Me. And it's a little tiny tag. Now let me get the camera in the holder. I want to show you 
I even used this. This is the back of a notebook, cardboard, and as you can see, it's pretty thick. And it did work. Because that's what all these ones are. Okay? Right here. And then up here, that's a piece of the cardboard. And over here. These two are a piece of cardboard, that's a piece of the cardboard, and that's a piece of cardboard. But it did fray a little bit, and all you gotta do is take your scissors and cut it off. Okay? And then here's a piece of foam, and another piece of foam bottles, and that does leave a little bit of a shed on it. You just take it off. And there you go. Okay, and then I wanted to show you this decorative fancy cardstock. It works on the solid ones very well, but on the ones that it comes out, it does not cut out. Okay. So I'm just pointing that out to you. Well, that's solid. Never mind. I do have some down there that... Where are they? Like right here. It just doesn't like to cut it out. I mean, it'll probably come out if I'm real gentle. But it might start ripping. See? It's just taking the... <laughs> The fanciness off the regular paper, okay? So I'm just gonna leave them. I don't know if this one will come off. Probably won't either. Well, this one's coming off. It all depends on your fancy card stock that you have. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, I wanted to show you on the foam ones, I tried to get, go over it with a glitter pen, and it did not work. But, on the paper ones, it did. I used silver glitter pen on these two, and gold on these two. So, I just wanted to point that out, so you might not want to use black foam, because <laughs> it does not work. Unless you just want to, you know, flip it over and use the other side. Like the tag, you can use that. Is the other side. Okay, beautiful things. And I'm going to show you a couple things I did with the potion bottles. And some glue bottles I purchased also from Timu. Okay. 10 millimeter five piece plastic glue bottles. Paid 133. Okay. And I did put some art glitter glue in them. And it works well. I'll let you know in the future if it clogs in the little metal tip dispenser. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm just going to fast forward it because it took me a while to do this. I have some jute cord. And I'm going to put some there and let that dry. And then I didn't think this looks finished. So I'm just going to put some jute cord around the neck. And as you see, I added a little tag. This isn't drying very well. So why that's drying, I'm using the poker from Dollar Tree, but it didn't work very well, so I had to get a needle to poke a hole. The needle was way sharper. So I'm just poking two little holes in the embellishment die cut that came with the package. I wanted to use a jute cord, but it wasn't, it was fraying too much, so I grabbed some thread. And now I got thread, and I'm just gonna put the thread through tie a knot and do the same thing to the other side so we can wrap it around the bottle. Now I'm going to add some thread to the other side where I poked a hole. Now I'm going to go back to the bottle that has a nice handle on it and wrap some jute cord around it so it looks like ropes wrapped around a bottle handle.
Now I'm going to add the little embellishment with a number right in the middle of the bottle. Then I have another bottle and I'm going to add a gourd pen with a little tag on it that came with the die cuts. And then I decided I wanted to put beads on and these are beads from Dollar Tree, sea beads. They come in like a six pack of different kinds. So I'm just adding them to the gourd pin, safety pin, and then I'm going to add the tag. Then I decided I wanted some sea beads on the neck, so I added two sea beads to the neck. Then I decided I wanted a piece of scrap for the embellishment, so I just cut a piece off and added it to the purple neck bottle. Just giving you a couple ideas, beautiful beings. Here's a close-up of the other two bottles. Now I'm going to show you some ideas for the rest of the bottles. Okay, beautiful beings. Here's some I made. I did a love potion number nine. <laughs> Drink me. The one I did earlier. The other one I did earlier. That's a new one. Drink me. And then drink me with the pen. And that one says love. I don't know if you can see that. Then there's some new ones I made up here. Different bottles. And there's a tiny one I made out of the other ones. And I put bling on those two. For the, for the cap. And then if you don't have bling, you can just use a number one for your bling. Drink me and dream. Okay, beautiful bangs. Now we're going to work on our tags. Okay, beautiful bangs. Here's a tag. Measure it for you. It's like three and a half by three. Okay. See that? Oh no, three and a half by two inch. Okay. And then here's our little embellishment. And that's like a little over two inches and almost an inch wide. Okay. And here's all the embellishments to that. And here's all the text. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward it. I got val volume, 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 vellum. <laughs> I can't say it, beautiful beings. I got clear vellum with a pattern of words on it. I got like a mustard color. This is from this again, the cardboard from the notebook, and I got foam foam and then just some maroon cardstock polka dotted cardstock and brown cardstock more vellum vellum clear vellum and then another maroon one might be burgundy one might be maroon or you can say it's red but this is definitely burgundy and maroon and then decorative cardstock with a detail in it bling cardstock decorative cardstock decorative cardstock some glitter white glitter cardstock then I have these two silver decorative cardstock and as you can see my die cut did on this leave a line but that's okay it's still pretty and i wanted to show you the reinforcement labels that i painted 
I didn't think of that until I started putting the lace on here. But I wanted to show you them. I painted them, a bunch of them, a long time ago. And I thought these tags would be nice with those on it. So I get them out and show them to you, beautiful beings. And, wait. I got reinforcement labels. And I wanted to put some on these. Purple. Let's do a darker purple. And then maybe a lighter purple on the other side. And that's all there is to adding them, beautiful beings. You can add a little bit of glue so you're sure that they're not going to come off. Because on some of the materials, I did have to check them and they were coming off. Like the fancy silver and the foam and I think the vellum also. I had to add a little glue to them. Okay, beautiful beings. But I'm just going to add these reinforcement labels on and I'm going to fast forward and then I'm going to be adding trim and lace and all nice stuff to our tags and don't forget you can use these tags you can make them Halloween you can make them Easter you can make them Christmas you can make them whatever you want beautiful beings to match whatever project you're working on enjoy beautiful beings Okay, beautiful beings, here's all the die cuts and the things we made. And I just wanted to give you a close up of these so you can see the texture on these. Okay, looks like that, the die cut. And then there's the texture, it makes texture on the ends. So you can see that. them and this foam gets stuff all over it and you have to keep wiping it off beautiful things but there's the texture that that little die cut makes 
for embellishment. And I came up with a couple ideas for that also. And close up with the tag die cut. That's what it looks like. Okay. Then I want to give you a close up of all the tags and what I did with them. And some I finished off camera. This is a cardboard from the back of the notebook. Is that one? See? That one needs glued down. Okay. I missed that one. All you gotta do is take a little bit of Lena's. in there or whatever glue you have and glue it down and then wipe the excess glue out okay that's all you gotta do and here's this one this one's a Christmas one of course and I just used garland on it this one's a festive one this could even be a New Year's, New Year's Eve one. Beautiful beings for New Year's. And then you can ink up the sides, the edges, if you want to. I'll do that when I use them. I did ink up some of them. And this one's a Christmas one. This one could be a New Year's Eve one too. Or even a wedding one, to tell you the truth. Use them for any occasion, beautiful beings. Whatever journal you're working on, this is the foam one. Is that what that is? And there's that side. There's this one. I put the little safety pin on with some beads. Here's that side. I think it looks cute with a safety pin. And here's this one. This is embossed cardstock. I didn't emboss it. I bought it like that. You know, when you buy the sheets for 60 cents. And there's that side. And here's our vellum one. I put pink on there because, as you can see, pick that up. On this side, the vellum writing on it is pink. Then on that side, it's gold. So I just added some pink. I just glued down this strip of trim onto this lace. Okay, That's all I did. Both sides, and then I glued it together. And this one is a Halloween one. This one has like a glass stencil design on it. Okay, now I wanted to show you how you can use these as little pockets. It's a little embellishments that came with our tag die cut. I just glued it down. I picked the, vellum, the vellum, vellum one and I put some blue roses on it. And then I put two roses on the other side. And then I added this tag, this ribbon, and then I just put a little tag in there. And I think it looks very cute. Okay. And then this one, I did the same thing, and I did ink up the edges on this one. And I sewed this one down. And then just added this little tag in there because I thought it matched nicely. And here's the other side. And then another idea you can glue one of your bottles on there. Beautiful bangs. <laughs> and I think it looks festive. Like they're going to drink a big bottle of wine for Christmas. They're little safety pin and our little tag it says 
drink me. And that's the other side. So you can do all kinds of stuff, beautiful things. Here's a purple one. This is on foam. Again, purple foam. I just took, stuck some trim and some lace in there. And then I had extra because, as you can see in the video, I was cutting them too long. And I cut the one off and then just stuck it on there. And I just glued this one. It glued very well with the foam. And I stuck it in there because it matched. And here's the other side. And last tag before I show the other idea I had, I just took some of this pom pom trim and stuck it on there, and then some Christmas trim. Then I took another one of the embellishment die cuts and I just glued it right here, right there. That's all. And then I put some Christmas lace there. Then I stuck a little jar I had in there. Easy peasy, beautiful things. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, I took all our little embellishments, came with a tag, and I glued them down, put a tiny bit of glue, and then I sewed each side. You don't have to sew, you could put trim or lace down them. And then I stuck little tags in them. And then we got a three-tier pocket holder. You just glue this wherever you want in your folders, in your journals. And I got a piece of cardstock here to show you. I got music notes. Just just give you an idea what it looked like glued in. Okay. And I think it turned out really cute. And you got a three-tier pocket for your little tags. Okay, hey, beautiful beings. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got lots of great ideas. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.